Hey guys, so I'm just going to do a quick little haul video of some stuff that I've got uh, recently. I'm just sitting on my floor with everything right now. And I'm in pajamas and no makeup with my hair in a ponytail. So I'm just going to show you the stuff this way. And um, I ordered from Amazon, Ulta, and Sephora. So first, I got the... Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour Eyeshadow Cream, and it's like a white pearlescent one. Um, what is the, what is it called? Oh, Too Cool. And I really like these as an eyeshadow base. I have a bunch of them, so I know I love these. I'm pretty sure I've had this one before, actually. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to get it again because uh, it's what's nice about the white one is it always um, it makes your eyeshadow look brighter having the white base. So there's that. Next, I got the NYX Matte Finish um, Setting Spray, and I haven't used this one yet before. Uh, I haven't used this one yet. I haven't used this one before. <laughs> um, I've used the Urban Decay one, but needless to say, that one is much more expensive than this one. And I do like NYX, so I figured I would give it a try. Next, I got the Mario Badescu skincare. It's the rose water spray, facial spray. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this. I know a lot of people um, use it, one of which being Kylie Jenner talks about it a lot. Um, so I thought I would give it a try. And I love kind of facial spray type things. So there's that. And I was pleasantly surprised that this is actually not expensive. Um, I thought, you know, Kylie Jenner's talking about it. It's going to be expensive. But it actually wasn't. Uh, then I got, what is this called? Because it's really small. Sephora Lip Liner to Go. And it is just, I'm trying to read it. Uh, uh, uh. It's just a nude shade. I'm try I don't know remember what it's called, but it's just a I can't find the name on there. But it's just a, a plain nude lip pencil. And then I got a Sephora the perfect the perfectionist airbrush sponge it's called. And it's basically their version of a beauty blender. I have one of these already and I actually really like it. Um so I wanted to get another one so I don't have to keep using the same one over and over again and I'll have you know more than one <laughs> um so I really like it and I don't remember exactly how much it is but it was cheaper than a beauty blender because just one of those is twenty dollars do 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 okay and then I got the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and I am the palest shade ever it is 110 uh, porcelain. And I haven't used this before, but I really like the Maybelline Fit Me um, concealer. And right now I'm using the uh, Makeup Forever HD foundation. And I really like it, but it's very expensive. So I wanted to try something. I mean, not very expensive, but it's, it's you know, for one thing, it's like $40 or something at least. Uh, so, you know, I wanted to try something else and, and not, uh, splurge <laughs> again on that. So I'm going to try this and hopefully I will like it. Uh, then I got, this I just got from Amazon. It's like those little eyebrow shaper razor thingies. And, um, Andrea's Choice talked about these and I wanted to try them because they sound like they would be really useful. <laughs> So I just picked up a package of those. And lastly, which I'm really excited about, I got the um, Urban Decay Naked Flushed Double Ended Brush. And um, I love Urban Decay. Whoop. I love Urban Decay. And I needed a new kind of face brush. And I wanted to get one that would be good quality. But I also wanted, you know... If I'm going to spend the money on it, I want it to be really, like, practical. So the whole double-ended thing is good. And, uh, yeah, so I'm excited to 
try that. And then lastly, I just figured I would show you a couple of the samples that I got. Um, one of them is the, uh, what is this, Benefit? Yeah, It's Potent Eye Cream. And so I really like eye creams, so I'm going to give that a try. And then this, I'm pretty sure I've smelled it before. It's the YSL Black Opium. And I love how this smells. And I wanted to get like a little sample of it because the actual perfume is so expensive. I mean, it's YSL, so duh. But uh, yeah, so that is everything. And, oh, there's my TV remote. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little haul and show you guys that stuff. If you're interested in hearing um, how I like some of these things once I've tried them, then let me know and I'll be happy to film a video about that. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.